Alright, welcome to the seventh and final step of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Uh, if you followed along and you've made it this far, then you've done very well, so pat yourself on the back. There's only one uh, algorithm left to know, and that's called the Allen, and that is left 180, top counterclockwise, back clockwise, front counterclockwise, left 180, back counterclockwise, front clockwise, top counterclockwise, and left 180. Uh, it's a relatively long algorithm, uh, but it didn't take too long for me to memorize it. Uh, if you write it down and you do it a few times, uh, you could probably catch on to it pretty quick too. Um, so, just be sure to pay attention while I go through it on the uh, actual Rubik's Cube, uh, if you don't plan to write it down. Okay, so at this point you should have a cube that looks like either this one or this one. This one uh, has all four sides basically completed, uh, as well as the bottom two layers. Um, but in the top layer here, each side has one edge that is in the improper position. This cube, on the other hand, has one side that is completely finished. Uh, of course, the bottom two layers also are done, and the top face is, is complete. Um, and three of the other sides are incomplete meaning they just have that one top layer edge piece uh, that is in the wrong position. Okay, so what the Allen actually does is it rotates the pieces in a counterclockwise position. So if we were going to designate this, which we have to, the left side, um, the left side is going to be the side opposite the completed side. So the completed side is always going to go on the right when you're doing this move here. Uh, there is a reverse Allen. It's just basically with this side on the left and you do it the right side first instead of the left side. But we're not going to go over that one here. Uh, I think it's just easier to memorize this one first and then you could uh, switch it on your own. Okay, so what it actually does is with this on the right side, the completed side, it rotates these three edge pieces in a counterclockwise direction. So if you look at the color, this red edge piece is going to be put on the side that is overall red, except for the exception of that um, the green piece there. This green piece is going to be put on the green side, and the orange piece is going to be put on the orange side. So you can tell that by rotating these three pieces, you will have a complete cube. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that move. Okay, so you want to just be sure that you have the completed side on the right. So holding that on the right, you're going to do left 180 degrees, top face counterclockwise. Now when you're doing the back face clockwise, it does not go like this. What you actually have to be doing when you're doing the back face counterclockwise is you have to look at the face directly. And when you're looking at the face directly, if you were going to do it clockwise, it would be going to the right, like so. Okay, so that's back face clockwise. The next move after that is front face counterclockwise. Okay, then we again do the left 180. Then we do the back face, which is red, counterclockwise. The front face clockwise, then the top face goes counterclockwise, and for the last move to finish up the cube, left face 180 degrees. And as you can see, if you had a cube that was very similar to that, you should have a completed cube. Now there is an exception. Um, if you didn't have a color here in this middle edge piece, that was on the opposite side. So if this piece that you see in front of you is wasn't orange and you had the blue on the right, um, then it wouldn't complete the cube. So if we take a look at this one, this one has four sides which have one edge piece that is improper. So if we perform the move here and you're looking at this piece that's blue, well that blue piece is going to be put on the orange side and the green is going to be put on the blue 
red's going to be put on the red. So after we finish this move, the red side is going to be the side that is going to be completed. So left side, 180, top counterclockwise, back face clockwise, front face counterclockwise, left side, 180, back face counterclockwise, front face clockwise, top counterclockwise, and left face 180 degrees. Okay, so now you see that the red face is the face that is complete. And now what you would want to do with that is put that on the right. So if we do that and we complete the move, you'll see that this is this piece that is green will be put on the green side. The piece that's orange will be put on the orange side and the piece that's blue will be put on the blue side. So you will have a completed cube after you finish. So left side 180, top counterclockwise, back face clockwise, front face counterclockwise, left face 180, back counterclockwise, front clockwise, top counterclockwise, and left face 180 degrees. Now if you do that move and your cube is still not complete, if you still have three three edge pieces that are uh, in improper positions, all you have to do is just hold that solid side that is completed on the right always and you might have to repeat that move I think maximum three times. So if you have to do it more than three times and your cube does not look complete then you are uh, possibly doing one of the moves wrong. Just be sure to, to write that down um, and be sure that you're doing all the moves properly. Your cube should at least have just those three edges. If you see any other colors in the top layer like white or uh, any other colors from the side or if the bottom looks messed up then you might have done one of these steps wrong. So just be sure those back ones are pretty tricky because I know a lot of people that I've tried to help solve the cube they did it backwards and it messed up the cube and they thought I gave them the wrong algorithm. Uh, but this is the proper algorithm so it's left 180 top counterclockwise, back clockwise front counterclockwise, left 180, back counterclockwise, front clockwise, top counterclockwise, and left 180. Okay guys, so I hope that you did uh, find the tutorial helpful and that you got a solved Rubik's Cube in front of you. Um, if you had any problems at all, just send me messages on YouTube um, and I'll be happy to help you out if I can. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed it.